Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A quiet-ish day of La Liga team of the season yesterday has been completely overshadowed by two absolutely insane League One team of the season leaks on Twitter. What I want to do in today's video is talk about how the hype for League One team of the season is already building because yes, that is our next league. It is not Serie A. Even though we had the Serie A vote, Serie A is taking place after League One. We just are not voting on League One. So that's kind of the clear that up there. I know a lot of people are confused about what's next, but League One is next. It's this Friday and the leagues are already popping and they're absolutely insane. So we're going to talk about that today, but we're not completing, completely forgetting about La Liga because content, yes, is still rolling. And we've got the first of two guaranteed team of the season upgrade packs dropping today, today for the MLS. So we're going to take a look at that. And of course, all of what's moving on the market. Fodder is big money. If you invested, you are looking really good on profits there. So a lot to talk about today. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about the content yesterday and just kind of roll over that really quickly because it was an okay day. We got what we expected, but nothing more than that. We start with the Icon SBC. We got Kuman. It was expected. Now, just like Makalele, pretty cheap Icon card, but a really good price from EA coming in at about 100,000 coins. It's not the most meta card, but if it's somebody you want for your club, that is a very nice price from EA. Pretty cheap to do and very craftable since the highest rated squad inside of that SBC is an 85. So not too much to complain about there. W from EA Sports. Then, of course, we had the La Liga upgrade dropped as expected and the 81 times 11 La Liga upgrade. And the 81 times 11, they made actually a bit cheaper, even though this team is very expensive with the likes of Ben's Grease, Vinny still being super expensive and these prices staying very, very high for the most part across the team. They made the 81 times 11 a bit cheaper, only requiring an 82 and an 84 rated squad. Now, inside of that 82 squad, there's an 84 player requirement. And if you invested in fodder, especially 80 fours you made bank these players almost doubled in price these guys were the low to mid 3k range right 3.5k 3.7k they started to rise a bit into the content they went all the way and to above six thousand coins for almost all of these 84s and they're going to go back there today right i would say once again we're going to be looking at fodder today a little bit later in the video specific areas to buy even for a daily flip as we've seen so many times during the past couple weeks of tots has been a really good trade but if you invested specifically in the 84s you made huge money 83s uh, went up 82s 85s 86s most of the fodder market on the low tier did amazing specifically the 84s though so ggs if you bought any of those after we talked about it this weekend because those were incredible incredible investments and they made a ton of coins now with the la liga upgrades being out gold rares are basically making the same exact movement that they did last week with bundesliga they're actually down right now they're 800 coins a piece some are even getting listed at 750 um guys i do believe these will continue to rise up a little bit towards the end of the week just like we saw last week with bundesliga if you have these i would list them for about 900 to a thousand coins because i still think you'll be able to get sales towards the middle end of the week at 900 to a thousand on gold rares but i'm gonna go stock my club again at 800 because especially even 750 if these are sitting here on bid i'm gonna stock my club and do some more of these la liga upgrade packs just because they're cheap and try to get the tots counter up i packed two of the left back the javi galan or whatever his name is um got him twice yesterday so no real blues just two moments for me out of those upgrade packs. Now, yesterday seemed kind of like a quiet or mid day without anything special, like the 81 player picks we were so hoping for or some other sort of player SBC, right? We didn't get any of that, but the real hype started building with the leaks. And that's what I want to take a look at. It is the two leaks that we had yesterday, starting early on a Monday. We had leaks. It is crazy. Now, both of these leaks are flashbacks and you may have seen them, but the fact that it's these big name players that are being leaked really me to me is like sounding the alarms of okay ea might be doing the business for league one tots because if you equate this to la liga team of the season guys like dembele guys like de young those are the types of players that would be on this level that we wanted to see player species for during la liga team of the season and it looks like they're going all out for league one tots so far right these are predicted stats and that's one of the first thing i'm going to lead off with is We've seen predicted stats for a lot of team of the season, SBCs, and players. 
and a lot of times they're juiced up a bit much. This would be a pretty sizable upgrade from Kempembe's 86, and it is once again a flashback. So this card for Kempembe could be an objective, could be an SBC, one of those two, we're not entirely sure. You would think it would be an SBC, right? Because this would be a massive SBC. Um, it'd be too big of a card to put in objectives, in my opinion. I could see this as an SBC where, you know, this is maybe our Friday SBC or maybe sometime during next week of League One Team of the Season, but there is so much hype around this card. And like we've seen so many times already this year, center backs across this game are going to take a hit with this Kempembe dropping. Even Kempembe's special card, the Centurions, which has 9 million games on this card. That is a ton of games. People know Kempembe because of number one, his PSG and France links, and two, he's just kind of been the most OP center back as a gold card, some of his special cards in the past two to three years. Last year especially, he kind of rose onto the scene being a super, super hype card. He is always meta, and he's got the perfect links for League One team of the season. So that's just a massive, massive name. Now, how much how much hype is there going to be around this? Well, regardless, it's a very high player, but it all does depend on the stats, right? If they don't drop an SBC for Kempembe or an objective, however he's going to be dropped in this game, but if this Kempembe card does not have 90 pace, I think that is the threshold that a lot of people would say at this stage of the game, he's going to have to have, even if he has 89 or 88, I think that would be seen as a little bit of an L. He's got 85 on this card. He's going to have to have mid to high 90s defending and probably above 80 dribbling and passing. So I could see EA really juicing this Kempembe and making him pretty expensive. I could also see them maybe not juicing him as much, making him like 89 or 90 rated and maybe giving him 88 pace like the Araujo SBC we had during uh, community team of the season. So I will say this once again, it all depends on the stats as to how much this SBC is going to cost, uh, if it is an SBC at all. But that's really, really hype, right? That is huge. And he's going to play insane in game and a lot of people are just going to want to do this card and get this card in their clubs because it is Kempembe. So that is leak number one and that's a big name once again. Now right after that Foot Sheriff tweeted out, tweeted out another massive leak. Awar is coming as a flashback SBC and if you did not know Awar has switched nationalities. He is now Algerian and not French. Now in FIFA Awar still has a, uh, he still has a France card. It has not been dropped an Algerian card in the game. So maybe this is a sign of EA with Foot Sheriff tweeting out this card showing the Algeria links. I'm guessing he is saying that it's going to drop as an Algerian Awar, which I, I, to an extent, it does decrease the hype a little bit, right? It decreases the linkability of this card. Um, and, you know, maybe if EA were to not update and maybe it is going to be France, I don't know. That's still, to, uh, I guess, to come. But uh, the fact that this card maybe is going to be Algerian could also mean that maybe we're going to get a USA Balogun. For me, that's really exciting for, for what I'm looking for. But this Awar, we're guessing, is going to be based off of either of his two Team of the Season cards he had in FIFA 20 or FIFA 21. If any of you guys remember either of these cards, this Awar was freaking cracked. He was such an amazing card. And then in 21, they followed up with the TOTS SBC. This was one of the most completed SBCs of League One team of the season that year. He was absolutely mental. So even not having those France links, I still think this is going to be an amazing card. He's FIFA meta. He's very good. And of course, everybody thinks about the Algerian link in League One that's also very meta to link him to, and that is the Yusuf Atal Road to the Final card. Now, this Atal was about 65,000 coins yesterday, and I had even invested in this Atal. He was about 50k last week. I had no idea about this leak. A lot of people that invested in this card had no idea. This leak came out. Atal went all the way up to 90 5,000 coins and I was able to sell there in the hype but realistically that's one of the only like good ways to link that our card and really he could continue to go up he's just got a 130,000 coin max price I'm not saying to invest in this card right now I'm just saying that this Atal is one of the better ways most meta ways to link to that card but some of your other Leon links went up as well winter wild cards Lacazette is another very popular one Cherokee's got the um card from uh, Future Stars. A lot of those links are going up right now because of this Awar. These are just two massive, massive names inside of League One. And that's why I think there's a lot of hype uh, building and based upon, upon these. Because think about like Bundesliga team of the season. We had some pretty big names, at least starting with the Royce SBC, right? One of the most popular and hyped SBCs of the entire team of the season so far has been Royce because it was a big name with really good links. 
and a lot of hype inside of the Bundesliga. These two guys fit that bill specifically for League One. That's why EA might be going all out with League One team of the season and trying to like build the hype back up with good player SBCs and really good content, which is what's been lacking in the past week with La Liga for sure in the second half of Bundesliga. So this could mean that big things are to come. Again, we don't exactly know even how these guys are going to be dropped in the game. We don't know if it's SBCs or objectives. We assume SBCs because um, those are really, really cracked cards and those are not the type of players that you most often see in uh, objectives but wait for more leaks wait for some more um, I guess news about league one team of the season since it's not voted on we don't exactly know who's going to be inside of it because that could really impact some of these cards from La Liga team of the season Bundesliga tots if we're going to have a really really insane upcoming week of league one that is definitely going to mean probably some bad things for the rest of the market depending on the prices of those league one cards right so there's more to be seen there but could mean big things for the market in the future and uh it's just kind of crazy that we had those leaks so early on like on a monday we're having those flashback leaks maybe i guess you could say nate are those going to be a part of some uh, objective that would even drop before League One team of the season. I doubt it because everything inside of TOTS is so league specific. So probably going to have to wait until Friday or after to see those cards, but that's crazy. Those are two big names and I'm excited to see those drop because they could be mental cards in this game. Now, speaking of La Liga and the market a bit, the market was pretty quiet yesterday. There were a couple good places to trade. I made some good coins on a few flips here. Some of the links to like the um, the Vela and some of the MLS cards, flipping a few Mukhtars and Vela himself. Uh, and then just some other couple team of the season card trades in between there. I'm not touching, like I said, I'm not going to mess with any of the La Liga Tots cards today. A lot of them are still maintaining pretty good prices. And even yesterday, you, you could have flipped a couple of them. Um, I'm not going to trade with any of them because today, again, has been the day in the past weeks where these cards drop off a bit. The team of the season impacts Tuesday, Wednesday, usually ends up dropping off. Now, these guys could be different. Who knows? Um, but I'm going to stay away from trading with these guys. And pri prices on these are probably going to dip just a little bit, especially if we get more League One leaks. That could impact these cards too. Again, that's kind of an unknown situation with them right now. So again, as I've said all week, be very careful. They're staying very high in price. I think a lot of these are still overpriced. Um, and then tomorrow we do have the guaranteed for La Liga. So that'll be very interesting to see. If you want to try to make some coins right now, best thing I could say to you is get on the open bids. Um, at this time of the year, we always say it. Um, but open bids are always slept on. And specific cards I would tell you to get on open bids for would be special cards inside of La Liga that people are buying for the cup teams, whether it's like a 200,000 coin card or yesterday on stream, we were actually looking at the World Cup team of the tournament, Gavi. Um, cards like this, if they drop 5,000 coins, that's huge, right? Gavi was like 23K. Wow, 24 for that one right there. Usually he's like 26 to 27. It's like, I'm going to buy that Gavi right there and see the next one is at 27,000 coins. I got a snipe right there, but getting on the bids, you might be able to get two, three, four thousand coins under where that card is selling. You can list it for maybe a thousand or two more to get a lazy sale as well. But that's where the demand is right now on this market for those types of cards. So that's where I'll be trading at the moment is the low to mid tier links with the La Liga team this season. So I'm going to list this up right now for like, let's say 27,750 or 28 K. You know, it's a couple thousand coins of profit, but if you do that on repeat over and over and over, you can make some big money there. Now, also for today, I think there's a chance to make some money with the MLS TOTS guaranteed pack. Now, Almada, Mukhtar, Vela, they've been pretty solid to trade with so far. It's just like last week with the Saudi League team of the season. You've got three cards that you really want to pack from the guaranteed SBC. It should be a really cheap SBC today. And especially if you stuck around towards the end of the video here, this is going to be a really, really good tip, guys. We saw it happen last week. I think it's going to be money this week as well. I would pick up 82s, 83s, uh, and maybe 85s today early in the morning as soon as you watch this video if they're not up at all i think all those cards are going to go back up to where they were yesterday 82s are 800 coins on bid and they were all like 1.2k yesterday take a look at this 1.2 to 1.3 after the content drop the 81 times 11 is going to refresh today you're going to have more low tier fodder demand out there for that guaranteed mls tots pack as well so 83s were up at like 2.3 three to 2.4 K. Now they're back down to 1.7, which is exactly where they were last night. So I would get on some bids. I would stock your club or transfers with these cards, especially if you're on a low budget. There could be some money there. 85s, I'm or sorry, 84s could go back up to 6,000 coins plus. So you could stock a couple of those if you wanted to. And then 85s, 
8.2k. All of these guys were 11,000 coins yesterday. Um, I think they could go right back up to there as well. So that might be what we do today on this game is stock your club with, I would say, 82s, 83s, and 85s and flip those during that first hour after the content drop. Get those lazy listed even before that, right? If you list, like let's say I've got a card, it's on my transfer list. I'm going to go list it up maybe 50 minutes before the content drop. So like 5 10 p.m uk time i go and list my fodder card up because um i know that it's going to be expiring after the sbc drops so then when everybody's going and doing the sbc at 6 10 p.m your cards are expiring and you get some of the nice lazy listing sales there as prices are starting to go up that's a really good way to sell cards and to start ahead of time it's a really good trip when uh, tip when trading with fodder so i kind of want to talk about that today because the mls tots pack is not going to be that expensive it should be pretty cheap um, that's why I think 82s and the 83s will go up and then 85s just for good measure as well with a lot of the other SBCs that are being crafted. Now, daily icon player SBCs, we do have one more leak and we're expecting a Brazilian, another Brazilian icon to be released today. It is Roberto Carlos and it is unfortunately not his best version of his card. It looks like we're going to be getting the prime Roberto Carlos, which is very disappointing and his card has actually started to drop off on the market a little bit because of this but he's obviously got the trophy titans right and this is the prime version of roberto carlos um he was like 300k i believe and now he's down at least like 20 30k he was 330k yesterday his leak came out he's right now 282 and i would imagine this is going to be a really good sbc in terms of value today because the cheaper ones they have dropped recently like kuman and makalele have been really good value to compared to the card on the market I would not be surprised if this SBC is like 200,000 coins, maybe like 250K. That would be a pretty nice SBC. Now, of course, it's not as good as the Trophy Titans. And I would say, um, watch the Trophy Titans today in price. If there's a lot of panic selling, this card was about 400K on the weekend. Right now, he's about 370K, 360. If this were to go down, I don't know how low it had to go, but maybe like the low to mid 300s. This is still the best version with the five-star skills. It's not that big of a stat upgrade over the Prime. In fact, it has only plus one shooting, passing, and pace over his Prime card. But it's got the five-star skills, the dynamic image, and just the, um, I don't know, it just looks better, right? Nicer on the eyes. People like the dynamic image cards in this game. We all do. So keep an eye on that card today. Could have a bit of a bounce later on after some panic selling if that SBC were to drop today at a really good price. But of course, if the Prime is dropped to good price as well, that could make that one drop down too as people sell that just to do a cheaper SBC. So watch fluctuations on that one today. But honestly, guys, it's just kind of a grind right now through this game. If you're grinding the cup, yes, there's things to grind in this game there. There's objectives to grind with a lot of fodder cards available. I know we're all hoping and, and trying to get as much fodder as we can. It's just tough to get fodder right now. Uh, at least the premium La Liga upgrades do give out a good amount of 83s and 84s and stuff like that. But for me, I'm getting so many duplicates. I'm tired of Araujo and Jesus Navas already. And I mean, I packed two team of the seasons, but the pack weight from these doesn't seem to be that great. I know we've had a couple people that were packing some lower tier blues right away yesterday, and I was a little surprised by that, but really it's pretty disappointing. And it's, again, disappointing that we only have the gold upgrade pack to rinse into, right? I'm putting in all of these non-rares here into this upgrade pack, um, not putting in Lunin because he's in my cup team right now because I have no goalkeepers in the club. But that's just another disappointing thing about how this, this feels. And I think a lot of people, especially with the, the leaks leading up to League One yesterday, it's just also kind of putting people's eyes and sights on it next week as well. And maybe, you know, you, you never think that EA is really trying to like leak stuff like that. I don't think that EA really likes the leaks, but kind of maybe they let some things slip through the cracks a little bit and just get a bring a little bit of hype into a week that's a little bit quieter, you know? So that's just kind of something to think about. And this is why you always rinse your non rares Look at this. I'm getting a board. I'm getting an Emiliano Martinez, 84 rated. That's going to go straight into an SBC. And I got an 83 as well. Bang. Always rinse your non rares into that gold upgrade, even though you think it's not worth it. When you have duplicates, do it because it's good. Oh, last thing I want to mention. Today in the store, there's going to be some refreshes, I think. Um, on Tuesdays the past couple of weeks, I believe the 500k pack or the 400k pack is refreshed on Tuesdays. Yesterday we had the Icon Cheer Pack. Today we might get the Elite Icon Cheer Pack, which is the insane one. This one, in my opinion, is not worth it. But I don't know how much they're going to require for that in, that insane Elite Icon Cheer Pack, which contains the 90 plus icon that's like from... 
World Cup, uh, Trophy Titans, Foot Birthday Team. I forget what all icons are in it, but we're going to watch the store for that. And I think the 10 coin pack might refresh today as well. So watch out for that one. There could be some action in the store. And that could impact the market a bit as well, which might make it a little bit of a quieter trading day. Uh, for me, we traded a lot of cards yesterday, and I still have a couple things that I'm really actually losing on a little bit right now. I have some Mukhtars that I bought at 340. He was up at like 370, 380, and he's down a little bit. So I'm probably going to get my coins pretty liquid, not mess around with too much today, um, except for doing some upgrade packs, hopefully getting this TOTS counter up a little bit further yeah Mukhtar is like what 335 right so watch them today watch vela um but we're gonna try to pack some blues today and uh just kind of keep shuffling through keep grinding through the objectives getting the wins qualify for champs maybe getting some rivals games in it's kind of a good time to just kind of tidy up right if you're not into upgrade packs there still is a good amount going on in the game tidy up on your rivals wins get those foot champs qualities done early maybe even play squad battles if you want to and um yeah just get ahead on a little bit of a slower week of content before what's maybe is going to be a massive week of league one so we'll watch out for more leaks and more information about that today but hopefully it's a w they have content hopefully there's a surprise from ea maybe a player sbc from la liga who knows we'll have our hopes up but we won't expect anything so that's gonna be the video for me today guys if you did enjoy smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new it's been native for the count see you guys in the stream today peace